Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything, and I wanted to do a review on this uh, Gleam battery-powered toothbrush. I did an unboxing a little over two months ago, and uh, if you watched that, which you probably haven't, but if you did, I wasn't too impressed with it. And just to make it short and simple, I think it's actually a great toothbrush. Now, with that being said, I still think the, the build quality and some things aren't that good, but again, it's only $25, so it's kind of understandable. What separates it from that is just the performance was actually very good. So if you're short attention span and you can't handle any more, then I guess that's good enough. But for me, if you want to get more of an opinion on it uh, about refills and battery life and comparisons to other brushes, I'll go ahead and uh, get a little more in depth. So they say that these um, refills should be replaced every three months. And I'm just two months in. And you can see this one's still in pretty good shape, but you can see this couple at the top. And you can see like there it's starting to, but it's not bad at all. It's still, and it really just started doing this like the last two or three weeks, like the first month or so it was like perfect compared to, this is pretty much still new. I probably only used this for a couple of weeks, this like refill until I bought this. But uh, this is an older one. And you can kind of see how these ones get way softer and they don't work as well. And they kind of all just look a little more fluffy. And since this is black, you probably can't see it, but it's really just that one spot. I don't know. The gleam. I don't think you can hear it, but there's a little bit of a difference. Like this one's a little bit st stiffer, so it's holding up much better than these. So I'm hoping I can actually go, instead of three, maybe go like four months. Then you only have to use three a year. I don't think I could stretch it into six months, but if I did try, I can actually still keep them sanitary because this toothbrush has a UV uh, little thing you take the head out. So I could actually keep these, if they'll hold up, and still keep them sanitary. And I did buy the uh, refill box. And what I said in the unboxing, which is still true, this is kind of where they get you. It's $10 just for two refills. That's pretty pricey. Like I would like four refills for $10 or two for five. I just think it's a little bit, but I guess that's where they make up for the affordable cost of the, uh, the brush itself. So they're actually individually packaged. And then you can just see how nice that is. It's perforated too. But I'll save these for in the future when I actually do need them. Now, one of my complaints with this, and it's still a complaint, is this is really hard to take off because it's plastic and it kind of gets gouged up with uh, using something to open it. And it's hard, it's hard to kind of tell how far you're supposed to turn it. And it's all plastic. But the, I'm still on the original battery over two months in. And again, it's this really cheap battery, no name. So see how it what the uh but the that's why it's really not a big of a deal because i thought maybe i only get a week or two but two months in and it still works just fine so you can see it's uh, 1.3 volts so i'm not sure how low it'll go i think things usually go like a little above 1.2 and that's usually where they can't go anymore so that's still holding up which isn't bad um, and I think it wasn't even a fully charged one. It was like usually 1.5 volts or actually 1.6 when you get them because there's no load on them. So I mean, even that cheap battery, uh, it, so it's at least two months, maybe it'll make three, I don't know. But uh, if you go to Harbor Freight, you can always get these ones. That are, these are crap, but uh, yeah, they're usually free. Or if you have a Rural King, you can get these, which I prefer because they're alkaline and they're very cheap. And these actually work as good as anything else. And I'm sure drugstore, they probably have their own name brand, cheap ones. Uh, I think, yeah, you know, a 4 or $5 thing of batteries, that'll last you plenty long if you can get at least two months out of this. So I would say battery life's actually really good. And again, it's kind of hard to get this thing back on because if you saw my unboxing, and I can link it if you would want to see it, where I was a little bit more nitpicky about this, is uh, it's hard to know where it's lined up. There's really nothing. There's like a little line there. And there's you can't really see it but there's one there it's, i guess that's how you line it up but since it's all plastic there's really no good track to know where you're started at 
but because uh, it'll only work when it's in one place. But it has good power for, again, this is that same two month old uh, AAA battery compared to this one, which is a little bit lower pitch. But what I like is the same form factor base. This is actually a little bit thinner, which I prefer. It looks better. The refills work better. This was like $50. They don't sell it on Amazon anymore. But you got the UV thing, but it used uh, nickel cadmium batteries. And there's like the worst rechargeables. Like I won't ever buy anything that's not lithium ion at this point. My first one of these lasted two years. And I think the motor was still good, but just that NICAD was so shot that it would just only like work for like 30 seconds or it would just not even come on. So this is my second one. I can't speak longevity if, you know, will this thing lasts 10 years, will only last two? But for only $25 and you would get the one uh, refill with it and one battery, I mean, even just 25 every couple of years for a new one, when you compare the price of a couple hundred, like a hundred dollar better one or more. As far as the uh, refills go, I think these are the only ones you can get the gleam when you go on Amazon. It's just like a Walmart only thing. But for anyone that knows, and these come off nice, they just pull straight off, which is nice. You can see how it has like this notched metal barrel. And I assume that's some, like maybe some toothpaste. I guess I thought it was sealed, but I guess maybe it leaks in there a little bit. But that wouldn't be too hard to clean. Yeah, you can see there's a little bit, but it's not. But this one actually would get mold on it because it was just how it laid in that. So I'd rather have just dried toothpaste compared to mold. But I don't know for someone that has any other toothbrushes that use this. Obviously, if they if the other refills use this setup, then they would work on this. But they might not fit evenly with that, which wouldn't. It depends how picky you are. But you can get the third party ones much cheaper. Compared and then this one, you have to twist these and they would always get like mold in there. And then you'd have to like, I'd usually just get a little bit of soap and clean this off and rinse it off then. So that I don't have that problem with that one. And I didn't like, this could break. It like got really loose on my last one. So this is just a much better construction. And I prefer this thinner size. I'd rather have this, it's just lighter in the hand and easier to maneuver than those like really big ones that still have this little skinny uh, refill on the end. So I really like it. I would say for the $25 range, maybe a little bit higher, it has to be the best in its class. I'm sure it won't perform anywhere near as good as a $100 one or even maybe a $50 one, but for me it works just great. Uh, if you have never used an electric brush, it will make a huge difference because when I went from not using one to this, you can feel how much smoother your teeth are. You'll notice that was plaque that was on them that whole time. And you'll notice because they'll be real smooth and your tongue will feel anywhere you missed. And then you kind of notice how clean they are compared to before. So it's the same with this. Um, so if, from a regular brush, it'll be a big upgrade to other ones. I don't know if it'll perform better, but it'll still definitely work. And for the price, it's a really a good value. I mean, it would be a little bit nicer if the head was a little bit bigger, but I don't need one of those ones that have the rotating spin thing or, cause again, you just, you get that clean feeling like this. So to me, I don't need, extra features that's good enough for me it's much better than just a regular manual brush uh, my main concern would just be if refills they're kind of expensive so it would be nice if the price came down and we don't know how long they'll be available um, I would hopefully people can find if there's a third party that'll fit them because uh, my Walmart only had one of the black and one of the white left I assume they'll be restocked but that's something that you have to keep in mind because if it's proprietary then you won't have any more if they would quit selling it, but it's a great deal and you can get it at your local Walmart. So I feel like as long as they do well, they'll probably be around for quite a while. And it's a great brush. So hopefully that helped you out, gave you all the information you need. And thanks for watching and you'll see me in the next one. Have a good one.